We come in live from the command center of the JW Solar USA. This is what I have for you guys today, folks. So you can see what says right on the tag right there is Unirack. So these are the Unirack products I have here. I've been trying or dying to show you guys, you know, really. Not literally dying, but it's just, <laughs> I've been anxious to show you guys, but I was working on certain things and I just, when I do videos, I want to do them in series or in a sequence, uh, which can make the videos being found easily, like you guys browsing because I have thousands of videos there. So I want you guys to see uh, what I have on these boxes and I'm going to be showing you what they are. So let's open them up, guys fun today in the house and I want to do this and voila this is what we have here and I'm going to be showing you these are L brackets or the L leg you can see it stands like this and you get your your reel itself and you can mount your thing on the, on the, on the ground or on your roof like this and you got the rail goes this way vertical and this one sits on the roof and you can get something like a little um <clears throat> uh a thing that sits here like a glue or a sealant that sits and drill your hole all the way down so that you can prevent water like a kind of tar or something like a a sticker whatever it is you know what i'm talking about the word is not coming out straight so i have the bolt on them you can see is the m35140 if you want to look for parts so these are 38 and there are 20 of them in here so just want to show you this is what i'm going to do i'm going to be showing you how to mount solar panels on a unistrut or super strut the right way or the cheap way by using high end um, uh, devices if you end up having these and you can able to utilize them with a super strut or unistrut or mounting solar panels in a different way without buying the unirack racks or buying the solar racks that's 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 the one old concept i'm doing here you guys know I like to fabricate things. I want to show other people how to go about things. It's not just the same what other big companies are doing. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 20 of them here. Yes, I'm going to set them aside. And we can go about the other ones. Here. You can see... Move this a little bit. Still will have it on the camera. There you go. Still have this on the camera so you can see. And these are the meat clamps. These are the meat clamps. So you can open this. And these are the meat clamps. It goes right on in between the solar panel. You see the grooves right here. There's a groove right here and a groove right here. It goes like this. You can set it this way, vertical or horizontal. So let me show you. I get, I get, I think it's a 12, how many? 20 of them. Let's count it out and see. Two. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I have a 12. So I have a, a 24 of these guys. Um, it has a, something here that goes with the Unirack. Fusion rack to ground itself properly. I'm going to show you. I'm going to utilize it on my Unistrut and Superstrut. That uh, some people had, has been have been criticizing me. That it's not gonna stick some people find the video very helpful and i want to thank everybody even if you criticize me but at the end of the day i think they saw my method 
was cool. So this is the bolt that you're gonna be, you know, put into this thing and tighten it all the way down. So what I'm gonna do on this application, when you have a unistrut or super strut, you end up having the bottom side that goes on the grip. Well, sorry, I didn't even have it on the video. That goes under the track itself. So by doing so, I can able to attach this bolt is going to be tied into that. Okay, this bolt is going to be tied to that one and bring it all the way up to the track. As I'm tightening up this. And it's just going to hold the panel all the way up. So this one is designed to be like for the unistrut bar, which is longer. And this one can just flush on the solar panel itself. So this one goes all the way to hold this and you have this one sticking out. Okay, so we can do that part or I can change these bolts and use other bolts that goes all the way, which are shorter. So the thread can continue all the way up here or I can find because they designed it so that it can go like this. So you lock it in because they make this the, 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 these devices so that no water can come in between here. It's a sealant and it holds it. So you see you have this um, washer. Okay. And that's supposed to sit on the rack and everything is going to be perfect so I decided I'm gonna uh, do what I'm gonna do and get the bolt that goes through the um, the uh, the uh, track on the unistruts you see what you know what I'm talking about and I'm gonna utilize it underneath to bolt this thing and gonna be on the center like that and holds the panel Okay, tighten it down. So, being said that, I have them here. And so, let's open up the other box. What we have here now is, all right, tell this one open anyway. Okay, the front. So, these are, these are, I hope you can see them, the end clamps. These are the end clamps. There you go. These are the end clamps. And this is the, the L foot or L brackets, they call it. And this is the mid clamp. Okay. And this is the end clamp. All right. I wanna show exactly so what I have in the box. So end clamp, this one goes on the panel. See that side? Hold the panel. This one. So the edge of the panel, that's where it attached. You attach this to the end of the panel on the, on, on the rack. Okay? To the end so that it can slide off. Like a unistrut now, I can use a unistrut or super strut. This is going to sit on the top of the unistrut. And this one now is going to anchor, it's going to be underneath, on the track. So by doing so, like I explained earlier, by taking this one out, okay, by taking this one out, okay, off camera, so I can have this one attached, I can just adjust this as a rubber seal or o-ring, so I can take this one, push it all the way, and attach, put this other, um, the groove that goes underneath the, um, the, uh, the, the unistruts.
that goes to the unit struts, then I can able to use that part and use that as a, a bushing or like a washer, this side here. When it goes there, that thing is going to direct the movement through the track and use this one underneath it and put this one here and I can tighten up this nut the way I want it, how far I want to go. So since I'm not using, I'm not going to be using the Unistrut racks, which are designed for these kind of bolts. You can see the way they are. You see like a kind of, you know, T-like. So it's not going to go on the Unistrut or Superstrut. It's too small. But the Superstrut or Unistrut grooves that try right on the on the on the on the on the on the track there i'm going to wear this one all the way down even if this bolt is small which is not the right bolt as it's supposed to be this um almost this size a 3 8 like this one this is really small and uh supposed to be this size wide so i'm just gonna use this one and bury this i use it as a washer like you see what i'm saying it's gonna be like this sometimes it's not gonna make sense to you so it's gonna be just like let's say, let, let's assume say uh saying that this is the the unistrut the track the thing that control the sliding underneath the unistrut because let's say it has this already grooves on it here on the sides here so this one be Underneath the unit struts because we're gonna go this way so it can come out come out from the group um, from the track So I'm gonna use this it already become like a washer exactly like this So let me push this one all the way down So it's gonna be like a washer like this then Instead of having this kind of bolt 38 so this one is gonna go up now this way and this side sits on the on the rail the track so i'm just gonna tight tighten up this because i have the advantage of the bolt in it so this side is gonna catch the lip of the the side of the panel and this side is gonna be sitting on on the unit strut itself and uh we can have that track but i'm gonna show you on the video it's gonna make sense to you because I don't bring the unit struts here to do it but I want to make a video how uh, it's gonna go about doing whatever I'm trying to explain to you right now here so it's gonna be sitting just like that let's say I assume this is the track already the unit strut so this one is gonna sit right there and um, this side is gonna catch the panel on the side the end side of the panel so we have a thing that people that are kind of worried about saying, oh, well, it's going to slide. Nothing's going to hold it. All this stuff they saying. And I'm going to be having this one. It's going to sit in the middle of the panel, which is the mid clamp. And this is going to be the end clamp. Okay. It makes sense now. Okay. This is how I'm going to end up the video. And you see that on the next video if you don't understand. Or maybe find it really complicated or what I was trying to say. And it's going to make sense to you um, when the time comes. And you see exactly what I'm talking about live here at the JW Solo USA. We improvise things. We make things people think is impossible to be possible. And things that you think you don't have to go and buy, um, 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 how you call them, buy commercial grade um, sub something. You can mix match what you have. You might probably find... A good deal on the internet online or maybe a vendor somewhere whatever then you can able to utilize them and come up with your own idea fabrication you gotta fabricate things things that works for you that's all matters no whatever other people think but as long as it's fastened up your stuff and as long as you're doing the right thing and it's more safe for you to do I don't see why you cannot do it but well, this is my idea this is my opinion Everybody have theirs. They can do whatever they want and whatever they want to do. 
I'm in, I'm up to, I'm up for that. So it depends. You the one spending your money. It's nobody spending your money. And if you have the idea how you want to do it, well, I think it makes sense. Oh, if you're curious, what's in this other box is the same thing. Just, just the same. Just the same thing. Okay. Yeah, they are. It's the same. So I just have more of them. So. That's that's the uh, the tag or if you need to buy them, come on unirack.com. So that's the uh, the the ID number or whatever you call it. So thank you again for watching. It's another nice video. I hope uh, it makes sense and I hope you find this interesting. I hope it opens up your brain a little bit because I like to tap on other people's brain to see so that they can see, so they can explore. It's not just like dying into one thing or diving into one thing. We have a lot of things to explore in life. Use your imagination. You no, know, challenge your brain. Do some challenges and challenge yourself and challenge each other that this is possible. Uh, it's not always impossible is to improvise when you improvise but if you don't have that kind of brain to do that yes i can understand it's okay but if you have the talent to improvise you don't have to buy things all the time just like you mix match to you know having a combo or whatever you can create yours so this is who i am i enjoy doing it instead of using the original or some of the other stuff because i know i work for it i know the kind of uh you know, copying other people's stuff. I want to be who I am. I just want to do things the way I want to do them. All right. Okay. It works. And then this is what I want to do. If I want to buy the complete version, I can buy it. Well, sometimes it's worth it to buy all those. You find all these other parts laying around. They're trying to sell them on a discount. They're trying to get rid of them. It's about time for your brain to be up. You know, test your brain and put it to work. And put all these things together. That's how they said. They normally call people like that. They're really smart. They kind of like the the tech people or tech guru or whatever they call them. So this is what you do. I love that. I enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Bye for now. Stay tuned for the video. So next one we're gonna um, illustrate or demonstrate how what I just said here and how it's gonna look like in the real world.